what's up y'all um, happy birthday to me I'm turning older than 25 T tomorrow aren't you happy happy birthday to me I mean it's a good birthday you know I'm I'm used to you know working like really hard on my birthday I'm still working on my birthday but I wish I was with like family and friends and stuff but I'm not and then it's bittersweet because my grandmother just went in the hospital today the day before my birthday and you know it's been really you know I've, she's been sick all week so I'm kind of sad over that but I know it's gonna get better also um you know, I started a new thing, so I have to get up early in the morning for this job that I do. But it's all in God's plan, everything that I do. And it's all fitting in to the plan that I had when I moved here. So I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity that I have. Also, I'm working on this project that's going to come out next year, the beginning. You'll know what I'm talking about when I release it, because I don't want to tell all my business. But, you know, I just come to say hello, and I had a video called Faith. I kind of apologize for that, that video, because I kind of edited it kind of quick, and it had the music all loud in the beginning, because I wasn't paying attention to it. And it had the music all, like, really loud for the first three minutes. It was a seven-minute video. So, sorry about that. But turning... Oh, you know, when you pass 25, it's kind of, you know, I did a, a video called 25, what now, something like that, and I got a huge response from that, because when you turn 25, you kind of like, okay, 30 is coming up, I should have this done, this done, this done, this done, this done, and you start getting depressed because you start thinking about what goals you set for yourself when you were like, 18, you know, when you were 18, you thought that just because you were out from under your parents that your parents were holding you back. No, your parents weren't holding you back. You just found out once you got in the real world that things come up that you really, you know, you can't stop. Just situations that come up in life that that's just going to happen. You just have to trust God that everything will, will work out. But, you know, being over older than 25, and you know being inching closer and closer to 30 you know it gets kind of scary because you you really do you set goals for yourself because you like by 30 I want to do this by 45 I want to retire by the time I'm 43 that's not realistic come on probably gonna be working till you 67 a 93 a 92 and be living with your mama anyway So, I'm just saying, just saying hello, and just wishing everybody a happy rest of the week, and be happy about your age. You know, like people younger than me, really, you know, you know, they say that 20 something, 25 is old. I can't stand that when younger people do that. Like 18, 19 year old, I know this one dude, said he called like 32 middle middle aged yeah he's on youtube he's the, this dude on youtube i'm not gonna say his name but he called 32 middle aged me and my friend that's 30 something we're just laughing at it because you know you when you're younger like that you have this mind of like everything is old anything past 21 is old you know and for some reason, I'm attracted to younger. Like I'm, cr I'm kind of crazy. I hardly ever meet people my age. I always, I'm always attracted to older people or younger, or put people younger than me. It's never like this, this age group like 20. I'm never attracted to like. Well, not that I'm not attracted to. It's just that I attract people that's. Like really, really younger than me, and really older, and older than me—not really old. So 
in the bracket of life, say 25 to 29. I don't attract that age group right now. You know, I don't really attract that. Uh, I always attract 30 and up or t what did I say? 22 or 21 and below. Not that low. When it gonna jail, you know what I'm saying. But that's weird. But the older I get, you know, the more experiences you get. And a lot of younger people think that they're so grown that they have everything figured out. Cause I thought I had so much figured out when I was 19. I thought I was so grown. Oh my gosh, I had to learn so much. I had so much to learn when I was. By the time I got like 20, 21, 22, 23, I just had so much to learn. And I thought I knew everything. And I thought I knew a lot about relationships. But the more I live, the longer I live, I quickly find out that there's more to a relationship than just, just saying hello, you know, talking on the phone every night you know people you know the younger you are you, you think that a relationship is talking on the phone text messaging good morning text messaging texting you know I love you that's not a relationship that's a babysitter what you doing I'm, 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 I'm watching TV what you doing um, I'm at work what you doing I'm watching TV what you doing? Oh, I'm laying down. That's not, that's a babysitter. That's not a relationship. A relationship is about being there, you know, in more ways than one. I can get into that, but I don't want to. Why? Because I don't feel like it. But anyway, this is about my birthday. So happy birthday to me, pump. Okay, check out bmccourt.net. Bye.